Stanford and USC, the number one and number two ranked teams in the country. It went to overtime, and it was decided by this young lady in the 97th minute, the freshman from the Cardinal, Sophia Smith. Sophia, congratulations on the game winner. Thank you. What did it take overall to win this match? Um, hard work, pretty much, is the main thing, I think. Um, I don't know, we came into this overtime and we, like every other time we went into overtime, we just knew that we needed to win it and come out from the start um, and leave nothing on the field. And I think that's what we did. Um, and obviously it was an amazing team effort to get that goal. Nobody stopped. Right. Nobody stopped working. Nobody stopped um, being locked in. And I think it was just a collective effort to eventually put it in the back of the net. Absolutely. A phenomenal collective goal. And yeah. Sophia, you're making me look good because I keep singing your praises, you know. <laughs> well, and, thank you. <laughs> and I always say big players score big goals in a big moment. But uh, the turn from Madison Haley was the difference maker. Oh, yeah. And yeah. a lot of times players will play or watch, mm -hmm. you know, as someone exactly. makes a move. Yeah. But you made about a 50-yard bursting run to get in that position. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about USC, how difficult it was to break them down because they were pretty solidified defensively. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were an awesome team. They worked hard. They pressed us up high. Um, and I think at first we kind of struggled getting it out from the back um, and finding our outside backs who were pretty open. But um, I think after halftime when we had our talk in the locker room, we realized that it's a, sim it's a simple solution. That's yeah. just we needed to find our outside backs and go forward while we have space. And I think that's what we did. Uh, you know, one thing that I noticed in the game is that you and Katarina Macario love to have the ball at your feet and then yeah. go at players with your mm -hmm. approach, set up dribbles. Right. But in a game like this, when you want to break the pattern, uh, does coach talk about maybe moving off the ball a little bit more just to add right. variation or take up different starting positions? Right. Um, yeah, movement off the ball is always a key factor. Mm -hmm. um, if you're just static, you're not probably going to get the ball very often. So that was a huge thing that we needed to, needed to do today. Um, and Kat and I do like going at players. Yeah. But sometimes the game just um, forces us to combine, and I think we did a good job of that. Sophie, as we wrap this up, you knock off UCLA, you beat USC. What do you think this weekend says about Stanford and how it could pertain to their fortunes going forward? All right, um, it's an awesome start, um, and I think um, we haven't proved that much yet. We still have a lot to prove, but this is a good um, kind of a good starting point going into all our next games, and it should give us a lot of confidence. Um, but now we just need to focus on the next one. Well, you've beaten the number two ranked team in the country <laughs> twice now in three weeks. That certainly has to yeah, count yeah. for something. So yeah, Smith. Thank you. Have you a great bet. weekend. Thanks, Congratulations. Great Thank job. Thank you.